Today I'm going to show you how how to recover from a blue screen of death, one of these. I'm sure you've seen it before. Basically, one of the best ways to recover your data after you've tried, you know, to um, fix the problem by other means. If you get the Ubuntu Live CD off Google, it's a free download, and most um, mirrors will have it. Wait for this. Basically, what we're going to do is boot into this CD. Okay, so you want to select your thing. We're just going to go stand or computer and start the download well, and choose your location. Okay, I've already got it, so it's here. Now, what you need is magic ISO. Go to Tools and Burn CD or DVD with ISO. Locate your file, set your write speed, and insert your disk and burn it. Alright, mine's already burnt. Okay, so we've got the Ubuntu Live CD in there. Now, to get into your BIOS, you have to press Escape. Until it comes out, there we go. And now, we want to choose our CD DVD drive which we just burnt. Okay, it'll start up. Now you can see the Ubuntu menu and we want to select start or install Ubuntu. Loads the kernel. And now we'll see this menu load up. can take a while. So if you have a slower computer it can take quite a while. Okay, so the Ubuntu OS has actually started up now. It took about five minutes to get to going on this machine. Okay, what we can do now is go to places and computer. Now if you've got an external uh, hard drive or anything like that, if you want to back up your data, you want to click on your volume, which is basically your C drive navigate to wherever you want. All your different folders are all here and it should all come up. Okay, from here we can shut this down. And go to shut down. Okay, so if we boot up again and we're up to this same boot menu, go to CD DVD and this is the XP CD. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it myself, but basically how to do it so you don't stuff it up. Press any key. It'll inspect your hardware configuration. Might take a little while. Okay, now this window setup will um, go through all the different parts of your system, detecting them. Can I just make another point that if you have a, a laptop, normally it'll be bundled with like. Asus or Acer or whoever you, HP, whoever, they'll give you two, two or three CDs with all pre-configured drivers and software to, to make it work for your machine, and it'll be basically two or three um, click procedure, and it'll take a lot less fiddling around, whereas with the clean XP install, you have the fact that you have to reinstall all your drivers, everything like that. Whereas with the um, the those CDs, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, so we're at this um, setup window. Uh, we want to press Enter to set up Windows XP now. The first dot point. It'll examine your hard disk. You want to press F8 to agree. And it'll search for previously installed versions. Now, here's what we want to do. Basically, we don't want to repair it because that that can cause registry problems. We want to um, install a clean version of XP by pressing Escape. Okay, so we're going to uh, press Escape, and now you'll be 
given a choice of um, partitions. Now I don't take this any further because I don't want to stuff up my machine. But we want to choose your main partition, and from here you want to format it in NTFS. Okay, I, want, I don't want to go any further, but from here it's basically follows the steps. And from here, after it's installed all the data, it'll bring up the XP menu where you get to choose your user accounts and all that sort of thing. Okay, good luck, and hope it works for you.